Hey, Grim, you don't want a joke becomes a dad joke? No, when's that? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, special thanks to our comment section for that particular dad joke. Definitely, keep them coming. Yeah, that's yeah. one. Of, that's been one of my favorites for a while. Yeah, um, I'm just I'm I'm happy to see our our uh, our viewers engaging. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, uh, you know what? Comment down below. What's your favorite dad joke? Well, it'll be the ones that we go through during this episode. Well, yeah, I hope. yeah. Besides the, besides your favorites here, what are some favorites maybe we didn't mention? Yeah. Speaking of which, welcome back. This is worth a dram. I'm Grim and I'm Red. This is the internet's first place for whiskey reviews, fatherly opinions, and even more dad jokes than you can <laughs> shake a stick at. <laughs> so I like it. Uh, you know, we mentioned that we were going to celebrate Father's Day um, with a special little Easter egg. Um, you know, coming with the uh, birth of my second daughter, yeah. Isla, uh, we're going to be taking a look at Kalila. Kalila. Which I pronounced incorrectly a couple episodes ago. <laughs> Sorry, we're learning. Yeah. We're learning. Yeah. So I think the video that I watched for the pronunciation, I think that was uh, spoken by a Scotsman. Yeah. So I might have picked up on his accent, and that's where my mispronunciation was, came from. Was it uh, Was it Smoky Cologne? <laughs> it might have been. Did he make a comeback? It might have been. <laughs> so as Grim said, we're looking at the uh, Kalila today, which is an Isla Scotch. Kalila is named uh, for the sound of Isla. Uh, I'm having trouble with the pronunciation a little bit. Yeah, all the Scottish <laughs> pronunciations will throw me off. So what Red is trying to say is that Kalila is actually the Scottish Gaelic for sound of Isla. Yes, exactly. Isla uh, being Gaelic for of the island. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's you're keeping me straight, and I appreciate. So that's that. this is like this is two levels of uh, translation here. So it it, I guess it could be interpreted as sound of the island. Si sound of the island. Yeah. Sound being not like sound, but like. The like port like sound. So I I was actually I was you were going I was yeah sound? I was picturing sound no. but I, I don't know Who like knows? The, the geographic sound. I've never heard that term. No no <laughs> maybe oh very okay. good. So anyway, we're taking a look at Kalila. How does that work for the sound, sound of, of music? Isla. Sound of music. I don't know. <laughs> like the ge geography of music? It's the geography of music. <laughs> That's why it's a musical. <laughs> Interpretations uh, after that are up for debate. Apparently. <laughs> so I, I believe during our research we found that this distillery actually had uh, kind of a tumultuous history. Yeah, so it started in uh, 1846. Uh, so it, distillery itself has been along for been around for a long time, uh, but yeah, changed hands many times throughout the years, um, and it's um, now known for uh, a couple of different things. I think you'll get into that. I don't want to steal your thunder. Yeah, yeah. I'll, but I'll get into uh, but been around uh, tumultuous history. Uh, a lot of different owners throughout the years. A lot of different. Uh, I think the distillery itself has been rebuilt three or four times. Mm -hmm. um, but it's now currently the largest operating distillery on Isla. Are you ready to pour? Yeah. Because I'm ready to pour. I'm excited about this. Please and thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh. It was, it, it led me to believe there was going to be a bigger pop mm. with, the, with how tight it was, but uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good. I'm a, I'm a fan. During our research, we found that Kalila is owned by Diageo. Diageo. Which, uh, avid viewers may recognize from episode one, where we said that uh, Diageo... Phantom, no. <laughs> the Phantom Scotch. <laughs> Don't you bring the prequels into this. <laughs> we are we are not a prequel-friendly channel. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, Kalila is owned and operated by Diageo, which also owns Johnny Walker. Um, in fact, uh, single malt scotch blends from Kalila are actually used in a lot of Johnny Walker yeah. blended scotches. Uh, it's a, a fairly large percentage from what I've, what I could find in yeah, research. Yeah, what, what are they, I think they're, they're, pro, are producing 6.5 million liters per year. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> 300 tons of barley a week. It's well, I think they are the largest distillery on Isla. Yeah. Um, yeah, 300 tons of barley a week. 
It's yeah. Yeah, crazy it's, how much they go through. A lot of, of again. <laughs> <laughs> I just like being, you know, I like being close to you. <laughs> we're, we're plenty close. <laughs> Um, so, uh, all of, uh, Kalila's mash bills actually share certain recipes with their sister distillery, Lagavulin. Mm -hmm. Um, this actually has a much lighter, um, character yeah. due to the way that they actually operate their stills. They only fill their stills to about 33% capacity, um, which I believe, if I'm remembering the terminology correctly, it causes an increase in reflux, which increases the condensation on the sides of the still and allows that to trickle back down. Uh, into the into the mix, um, so it still produces that characteristic peat flavor yeah. from that you'd get with an Isla Scotch, um, but with a much lighter profile. Yeah. So I've heard we haven't tried this. We yet. haven't tried it yet. Uh, we um, actually bought this bottle. I can smell the peat from here. Already. I can too. Um, um, we bought this bottle special for Father's Day. We did. Uh, we were hoping our dads could be here. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Circumstances being what they are. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little crazy it's out kinda, there. Kind of tough. Yep. But, um, oh, man. Whew. I can smell it. So I picked up my glass to bring it a little bit closer to my face so I could sneak a snifter. Uh, snifferizer. <laughs> I, thought we, I, thought we, I thought we banned snifferizer. That was my fault. I never should have said it. I wanted, I wanted to use it at least once, though. Okay. Uh, so I could get a snifferizer. Yeah. Um, and before you could, because I, because you were right, I could smell that peat while it was sitting right here. Yeah. Um, but it does smell very light. It smells very. Uh, yeah. Open. You know it, it. It. You know I I grew up on the East Coast and around Harbor Towns, and then you know my wife and I took a trip to Hawaii. I'm sure you guys have been. I've been to, to Hawaii. I haven't been with my wife. Well, you've been to an ocean. Yes, we somewhere. have been to an ocean. They managed to capture just that open air feel. And put it in a bottle. Yeah. Yeah, I get that for sure. Married really nicely with that peat smoke. Yeah. And it's not overpowering. It's just, it's there. It's present. It's letting you know it's there. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if we, you can see uh, how light it is, um, but that's that, that distillation. Yep. Um, where that's a really light, almost I have to like white wine. But yeah, light it does. Wine. A little darker than a white wine, I think. Although yeah. it's, been, it's been forever since I've had a wine. Uh, what is wine? <laughs> I don't know. I, I tried thinking of something. I was gonna, I was gonna, gonna try and fit a dad joke in there, and I. Do you want a dad joke? Sure. Before, so my first official dad joke, uh, when my our first daughter was born, uh, we, I don't know, we were new parents, probably thirty six hours old. They let us come home. It's four o'clock in the morning, and we were still waking up together. Yeah. To take notes for. Uh, how long oh, she slept God, and I, breastfeeding. I remember, I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah. So we were at the, so uh, it's a little after four in the morning and we both get up. I haven't really lifted my head from the pillow yet. And my wife asked me, what time is it? So she can log it. And I said, it's, it's 418. She says, that clock says 415. And I said, yeah, I know it's slow. And she goes, how do you know it's slow? And I said, I know a slow clock when I see one. It's always taking its time. <laughs> Hats off to you, sir. <laughs> Four in the morning, you said. Yep. She Low she was sleep. so mad. She was like, she, "You just woke up." <laughs> She's glaring at me right now. It it right there. It, but it's something you know. It's my job become, now. Once you become a dad, it's, yeah, it has to happen. What's that right there? Like what? With what? Oh. You beat me to the punch a couple times. That's true. I have. Good golly. Miss Molly? Yeah. Man, that finish just goes. It's a, it's a long finish. Yeah. Very long, but very, very light. Mm hmm It's a light, uh, just that smokiness. So smokiness. Yep. That peat smoke is there, for sure. Um, and that just lingers. Like, I, I don't know. It's been maybe 45 seconds to a minute, and it's still going. I'm still breathing smoke. Yeah. It, that doesn't give up. Let's time this. Well, I'm not going to time it, but I'm not going to take a sip for a little bit. But you're right. Very light. Um, so I've had, I've had scotches where the peat is really, really overpowering. 
Um, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, but I mean, light in flavor too. Like, like the peat's not not super heavy. Yeah. But none of the flavors are super heavy. It's a real, yeah, subtle. Man, that just every time I breathe through my nose, there's that smoky. It's still going. I don't. Yeah. I, I've lost track of when I put that down, but I think it was probably about yeah. 30, 40 seconds ago, and it, it's a very long finish. Yeah. But it's very enjoyable. So we. This is the. This is the Kalila twelve year. Yes. Um, we did see an article where the number one voted scotch in 2019 was the Kalila 15 year. I couldn't find it. Um, so I figured... Probably because it was voted the number one whiskey. Probably. Um, <laughs> scotch. Yeah. Number scotch. one scotch. Number one scotch. I was just going to I was just gonna dub your voice over. No. Oh. But now <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> so you know what? Actually, one of our promos, I did have to dub your voice over. Did you really? Yeah, because you said... <laughs> and, and I'm red from Quarthadrin. <laughs> So I had to find you saying worth in another video and then cut the audio in. Um, you, could, you couldn't have done that when I accidentally said uh, prevent instead of present. You just had to focus in on that. You were so confident. <laughs> you, you were so just dead on like, no, I totally said. No, I that's don't, what I said. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is just starting. Yeah. To fade. It's crazy. This is, you know, we, uh, what was it? Was it the, it was the Woodenville episode where you said, sit back and enjoy, and enjoy just like the long yeah. complexities. Yeah. This isn't that complex, but it's, this is another, this is another thinking man's drink. Oh, for sure. You have to take your time with this one. You want another dad joke? She hit me. Hit me with the best <laughs> shot. I've lost track of where we are in time. It, lining up with our YouTube releases. However, we were in the hospital. Uh, my wife had just finished giving birth to our second daughter. And I can't quite remember what led up to this, but I've been standing there and the nurses were like, "How's da is dad okay? You haven't, you're still with us. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. That looked a little labor intensive though. <laughs> <laughs> that is, is there another, another clink. Thank so, you. I'm pretty good. sure. So I, one of her doctors asked her how she puts up with me. I've often wondered. <laughs> Half an hour later, their mom and baby are doing very well, and the nurses are in trying to make them comfortable, and they bring in a blanket. And they must keep them in a hot box, because the blankets are warm. Yeah. So my wife says, wow, this blanket's really warm. And I'm right there. I'm like, yeah, they must keep them at warm temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to clink you for that one. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> anyway, so YouTube magic, ten or fifteen minutes. These have been sitting. Has it been that long already? I guess it has been. Yeah, it has. Because like in between takes, we just kind of dick around. I just sit here, quiet, eating cheese, eating cheese. <laughs> <sighs> so for me, uh, the smokiness has gone away. Yep, I agree. Um, not not nearly as present as it was in the first first class. Yeah, it's still there, um, but I can't. First class, I could smell it from here. We may be exhaling peat at this point. <clears throat> True, which could be blocking more peat from. It's been ten minutes. I have finished one glass, and I think I still am. Absolutely, it's it's still on my palate. That's crazy. Um, but I, I well, yeah yeah the scent is a lot milder for sure. So I would say that airiness that I noticed before. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I feel like that's a little softer too. Like yeah. more of the, uh, it's, it's, I'd say it's a little more citrusy now. I was gonna say, I get a little bit more sweetness. Um, I think those, those might be two, yeah. uh, um, kind of two sides of the same coin. There. Yeah, I don't know if it's the 100% the barley, but, oh, you know what? We didn't mention, I don't think we mentioned, this is aged in ex-bourbon casks. No, we didn't. Um, uh, but I like the sound of that. 12 that years in our next bourbon cask. Okay. Um, and so that might be where that citrus or that sweetness is coming from, is, mm. <clears throat> is that aging. It's another dad <clears throat> joke. Uh, more of a prank that I pulled on my wife once. Yeah. Uh, not an official dad joke, because our daughters hadn't been born yet. I was doing something in the sink. I might have been doing dishes, whatever it was. She had just turned her back, and I went, Ah! And she goes, Oh my God, are you okay? And I went... I just died in your arms tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you bastard. 
good. I mean, dad jokes are universal. She's glaring at me again. I mean, it's not about being a dad. No, it's 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 what's in here. Exactly. It's the it's potential. What's, it's what's it's what's inside you that matters. Uh, I like to think that we all have a little dad inside us. That will not, that will not be <laughs> on worth a dram after dark, <laughs> at all. As the words were coming out of my mouth, <laughs> I went sprouting up the right thing to say. For sure. So back to this. So what are we doing? Kalila. Uh, Kalila. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting an appreciable difference between the, our first glass and second. No, the, the only thing that jumps out a little bit more to me is that sweetness. Yeah. But other than that, you know, maybe if you're more partial to a sweet whiskey, maybe let it sit. But right from the bottle, I think, is is perfect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after letting it sit for a little bit, there's no... Yeah. There's not a huge difference. I think, you know what, I enjoyed it uh, fresh from the bottle, and I'm enjoying it now. That was That was... That was uh, worth the purchase. That was, was that was a sure. that was a, a good bottle for for to celebrate Father's Day. I agree, um, definitely. Yeah, definitely good. Uh, so we should point out this is not an everyday Scotch. This was actually so just the twelve year, which I didn't find anything cheaper. The twelve year was about eighty dollars. Yeah, and that's here, here here. Yeah, here in Arizona. So it'll most likely be more expensive on the East Coast and probably five times as much in Australia. Um, but. I'd say, like, if you want something to take home for special occasions, that's definitely one. Definitely pick up, yeah, I always say pick up a bottle for sure. Yep. That's good stuff. I'm not sure if I would buy it again, but I've enjoyed what we've had so far. <clears throat> I, yeah, um, I, I'm a fan of scotches. Yeah. Like, I'm generally in a smoky mood. Smoky cologne? Smoky cologne. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> We're going to have to get you a whole outfit. We, I, I think so. That'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to be getting a hurdy-gurdy next year. Do you think you can learn the bagpipes? I think I can try. That's probably good enough <laughs> when it comes to bagpipes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I can tell you, I'm about to... I got a little bit left. I'm going to finish want, this up. You want a little bit more? You want a little? I'll have a little bit more after. You want a weed dram? You already poured me a weed dram. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want to... No, no, no. What's the opposite of we? Let's not go there. <laughs> you? <laughs> I? <laughs> anyway. Um, so let's, what, what, what do we think of this here? We've um, gone on some crazy tangents. We, right we've now. gone on a lot of tangents. You know, taking taste and price into account here. So taste is, is up there. That's, yeah. a, that's a great tasting scotch. Um, it's a little pricey for me for an everyday. Um, my, it would be perfect for some for special occasions. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> would I keep it stocked? Probably not. I'd say a six. Six? It's a, well, yeah, it's, it's, ugh. I'm torn. I really, you know what? I'm going to stick with six because yeah. it is, it is very, very it, good. I mean, it's your first instinct. Yep. First instinct. I'm going to stick with six. So I agree with, uh, Pretty much everything you said. Um, I would probably rate it as a seven, though. Um, I know um, cost, uh, taste, you know, taking that all into account. Um, it's probably something that I would keep for special occasions. And if I ran out, uh, you know, celebrating something, you know, I parked the car correctly in the garage so I get to celebrate. <laughs> um, I would go make sure I have a bottle of this on hand for me uh, in my tastes. Um, I have a bottle on hand. So for me, it's a solid seven. Okay. Um, uh, final answer? Yeah, final answer for now. Final answer? So combined score of 6.5. I'm going to do the fanfare every I time. use sound effects. Do you want me to start just using that? No, I like doing the sound effects. Okay. Can I record me going... And then you can just use we it. We do that every time because you don't stop making the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I like making noises. <laughs> it's true. Um... So I started with a dad joke. I got another dad joke for you. Hit me. Uh, uh, hold on, wait. You have a track record now. Just tell me the joke. Please don't slap me again. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I won't slap you this time. All right. Um, so I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. 
I'm not sure what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to Rick's house later? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was supposed to say Rick who? Rick who? Rick Flair. Oh, <laughs> This is a thing now. This is a thing now. We've taken, we've turned Worth a Dream into a full contact sport. After dark. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Red reminding you to like, subscribe, check out our Instagram, and check out our Facebook, and comment down below any of your favorite dad jokes you didn't hear today. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in again, and no matter how you like your whiskey is the right way.